Okay, there's been a lot of giggling this morning already. What is the team dynamic like at Matrix? It's really good. Um, when I first came to the team, I already knew most of the girls because everybody's mainly British, apart from the Danish and the Swedish girl, but I knew them before. So it's good. It's like almost been like I've been on this team for years because I know everybody. I've been on the team a while, but I think this year everyone's gelled quite well. Like it does feel like we've been on a team for like together for ages. So. Same for me, really. I guess um, I'm coming back with girls who I used to race with. Um, back in the day, <laughs> um, so it's nice. It's it's like really relaxed as well. Um, for me, I do road for fun almost. Like I don't really do it, um, well I mean obviously I'd like to win, but um, <laughs> the chances are slim. <laughs> um, so I do it for fun. So it's nice to be back on a team that's just relaxed and having fun, I guess. How does youth play in the peloton? How much of that is an advantage? I think it's good in a sense that we can get a result because no one knows who we are. I think we are young but experienced. I found it's really good riding with these younger girls because um, every race is like completely new, completely exciting, so they're super motivated and almost when you don't know how hard a climb is, you're not scared, you're not bothered, you're just motivated and excited. So everyone definitely stays positive. Maybe not so much after they've been up the climb, but <laughs> definitely before. And how motivated are the team this season? How determined are you guys to get some results here in the Spring Classics and moving into the summer? Um, I mean, for me, this is my first race, so I haven't really done that much um, with the girls yet. But just being a part of this team so far, um, you can tell everybody's really motivated. And I guess having um, UCI status this time um, has changed it a bit. Um, and for such a small team, um, how it started, like in Britain, and for us to move forward and get UCI status, I think it's massive. And I think that has helped with the motivation and the sort of drive, because you want to prove to everybody that you are good enough. Obviously at Vox Women, we're trying to raise the profile of women's cycling, give you guys a voice and give you the coverage that has been lacking so far. Let's talk about women's cycling and how much it has progressed and also how much further it has to go until it does get the coverage it deserves. I think women's cycling has come on a long way um, just over the last couple of years. I guess um, I was never in it at its worst point. Um, I sort of came in it halfway through. So I guess it never seemed that bad until obviously it gets highlighted that it's not on the telly, um, prize money and stuff like that isn't equal. Um, but I think having races um, like getting on the telly now, like the Tour of Britain that we had in England last year was incredible. Um, and the fact that it was, it was highlighted you could see it on the telly um, I think that was a massive step forward I think if we can continue to get races um, doing that and getting on the telly I think you'll get the sponsors and then it sort of works from there um, it's sort of one of the things where you need you need one thing to happen for it to continue to grow <laughs>